Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have a moon card and this is Pisces energy so you could be dealing with a Pisces okay so this is an energy of a lot of I'm seeing someone who's really doubting their intuition with this energy somebody who um, you know is a bit fearful or feeling uncertain about um, their emotions or their intuition um, not feeling confident in their insights here uh, with this energy there is a lot of illusions things are not clear things are quite foggy with this energy um, somebody is um, keeping secrets somebody is keeping things hidden below the surface this could even be somebody keeping their emotions you know really suppressed and not really being expressive about what's truly going on and this is causing or creating this illusion this um, doubt or an, a foggy energy here okay so there is a, an air of a bit of a, some uncertainty here okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Scorpio Okay, so the first card we have is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy again. And finally, we have the Five of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so definitely there, there may have been some sort of a falling out here. And I do see with this uh, Five of Swords energy that, um, you know, whoever this person is here, they, they're, they're trying to um, really mask their pain. Um, this person may be uh, focusing more on work as a way to distract themselves or just focusing on their abundance, their material, the material realm and really suppressing their emotions. Um, definitely there was the potential here for this Ten of Pentacles. This is a connection that had the potential to, you know, be successful, have something long term, something stable, that happily ever after emotional fulfillments, material fulfillments. You know, there was that energy of this is something that was meant to last a long time. But I do see somebody, it's, it's almost like with that Five of Swords, there was a disagreement and um, there hasn't been an opportunity to repair this. Somebody is very focused on themselves. They, they're very much not wanting to deal with their emotions right now. And they are instead, you know, really focusing on work and, and suppressing their emotions. So let's clarify these cards, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of wands and this is fire energy okay so with this energy there is a sense that someone here is very afraid this person um it's almost like they don't want to confront a situation they don't want to feel their feelings um this person is afraid that they will be hurt and but there is this feeling behind this um you know this demeanor that they are doing well there is almost a fear you know that 
um, we almost had something so I do see this person may you know at times want to go back and forth they want to repair things because they do see that the, they acknowledge the fact that the, the ten of pentacles is something that is a potential for this connection but this person is afraid I'm seeing someone here who um, feels like they've really been through a lot when it comes to this they feel like they've experienced a lot of hardship in this connection you know things have been difficult and um you know this is like them wondering if they should give it one last shot shots or chance um they're wondering if they should or shouldn't this is them assessing whether they should try again whether they should um look into things um so this person is definitely feeling a bit uncertain or unsure um feeling a bit guarded as well and defensive with this energy okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say Okay, so the first card we have is the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Next, we have the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy again. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. And finally, we have the Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so I do see here somebody who, um, there may be a period of no contact um, on the horizon for this connection. Um, this person needs to take some time to view things from a different perspective. Um, I do see them um, first starting out from a place of numbing or not wanting to see things. But with the hanged man, it's like this person, they will get to this point where they, they look at the situation from another angle and this is really going to allow them to be able to to come back and give more to the situation I, I do see this person will be having some sort of enlightenment when it comes to this they will be seeing things differently and I, I do see them um, you know willing to sacrifice their pride their ego to try to repair things to work on things um, this person wants to give to the connection they want to um, work on things but I do see this coming with some time because we do have the hanged man which is a, a, a period of non-action it's almost like no contact nothing is happening and during this time this person um, it's like they're taking that time and um, something is clicking for this person where they see things from a different perspective i do see this being motivated by the fact that they realize that there is potential for this ten of pentacles here um and also it's like this person is starting to you know realize that they can't really run away from their emotions they can't keep suppressing their emotions and i, I do see them you know facing them facing this and working through this so with time this person i do see them coming back around with the four of swords this is coming out of a break coming out of a no contact so this person definitely will go into some sort of time in, of introspection or um you know time alone but i do see them coming out of it with this four of swords and um coming through as wanting to be the bigger person wanting to work on things wanting to give to the situation okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you scorpio So the card says, the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. Okay, so this person will take their time. I do see them also getting perspective, them finding out answers. It's like this person has spent a good portion of their life doubting their intuition, you know, doubting their emotions, not wanting to hear any answers from their emotions. And I do see them having some sort of um, enlightenment or awakening where they, they, they start to really work through these things um, and they get some sort of answers that changes their perspective on, you know, the connection, connections in general and looking at things from a new viewpoint and um, from this place they come out of this um, no contact or this break that they are in and um, I do see them coming towards you with answers so this person definitely will be operating in their own time because I do see there is a bit of a there is some delays with this hanged man and the moon because this person needs to get answers from within first okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you um, Scorpio
Okay, so the card says honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so this person definitely, I, I do see that they will not be giving up on this connection. There will be some delays, but they're not, um, they're not done with this. It's like this person, when they do come back or come through to work on things, they will be in this more, um, more of a desire to be in a bliss phase. So they will not be wanting to be victorious in any sort of arguments. It's like this person doesn't want to be right. They want to, they don't want to have this, uh, you know, victory in this battle. Instead, they want to have peace. They want to enter this blissful phase with you. So this person is getting some sort of peace from within before they come towards you with that because they do see this as a connection that um, has 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles potential. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Scorpio. Okay, so the card says victory and conquest. He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. Okay, so I do see this person is first going to go within. It's like they're getting answers from within. They're working on themselves first. And from there, they're able to have a new perspective on things. So this is someone who is mastering themselves and their emotions, gaining confidence in their intuition and their own insight. Um, and I do see this as, um, you know, helping your connection because from this place, this person is able to show up um, more confidently, more authentically and um, less from their ego space and more from their heart space. So definitely this person, uh, they, I do see a victory for this um, situation, this relationship. Um, even though there may be some sort of a pause or a delay, this person is coming through, um, you know, showing up as generous, ready to give and be fair in this situation. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.